What's up guys? I'm going to do a little walk around of my Harbor Freight hitch cart, hitch packer that I turned into a beach cart and let you guys see how I did it and answer some questions maybe. Beach wheels, there's a 12 inch uh, beach tire and so I have a piece of aluminum half inch conduit here. I drilled uh, a small hole, put a cotter pin, pin and I use a washer, then the tire goes on and I've got another small pin, small hole that I use this removable clip or this removable cotter pin. That way I can take the tires on and off easy. Uh, I used a U-bolt. I think this U-bolt was like a Yeah, inch, inch and an eighth. I couldn't find one small enough at my hardware store, so I just bought these and kind of turned them sideways. And so, the center of that axle is about 17 inches. Uh, I did that so that my hitch could still go in and out. You see here, uh, if, I go, if, I, if I went too much further, forward then the tire on the other side would have hit my hitch <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to have to take this tire off to mount it on the truck so it wouldn't have been a big deal to move it move it further forward maybe in the future but for now i just decided to leave it where it was at so they have a little bit of a clearance a little bit of clearance right here so i'll show you kind of the underside So I guess a lot of questions come with how do you mount it to your truck uh, and still, you know, and still not have to tote this big receiver around. Uh, show you a video of it mounted to the truck here at the end of this, but this tire I'll have to take off. Uh, I thought about redrilling the holes in this tube and moving all this, but it's just as easy to take the tires off, and that way I'm not traveling, stopping at the gas station and stuff, and I'll just take them off, store them in the truck, and then. Uh, they're easy enough to put them on with the keys that I've got. So this will come off when I put it on the truck. Uh, I, these are half inch uh, hitch pins that I got from Tractor Supply. And I, they come with the keys. I just put a little piece of rope so my wife doesn't lose, the, doesn't lose a pin. So you just remove the pin. And then your hitch will slide out. And then the hitch is removable. Not all of the hitch packers I've seen come with this aluminum tube casing. And so mine is unique in that. So these pins are long enough that you can see them from the top and you can just reach in here and pull the pins out or, or install them. And then you can reach in here and pull the pin out. And so these holes are actually like, uh, probably like a 3 8 hole factory. And so I had to hit them with the half inch drill bit so the pin would go in and then once their pins pins are out your tube my tube just slides out and I've got this this is aluminum and this this was factory not all of them are made like that I've noticed this up here I just made this out of steel because my dad had a bunch of tubing and stuff laying around I powder coated it black and I use some U-bolts uh, to attach it. A lot of this, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I may go back and redo uh, once I see how it, it works. And I'll probably end up buying the factory aluminum handle and uh, stand for the fish carts to go on here later on. Uh, I'm going to put some lock nuts on here, take, take these regular nuts off. And I also bought these hitch pins from... Uh, track supply as well I just put them on a little cord so I don't I don't lose them and I have I have a I made a handle using the rest of my half inch conduit that'll slide in here uh, and it'll have holes and I'll uh, lock it in that way I bought a 10 foot stick of aluminum conduit that cost me about ten dollars when I finally found it so it was really rel relative relatively inexpensive and it makes for a pretty good axle. I was going to try to give you an axle length. It's like roughly 
about 39 inches is what I ended up doing. And that gives you a pretty good width there. It's super lightweight. I mean, you can almost pick it up one handed. And, uh, but I think it's pretty well balanced. Once I get my, get my handle on there, I'll be ready to take it to the beach and try it out. Let me know if you got any questions, guys. So I'll just do a quick video to show you how I mount it on the truck.